distinguished panelists and participants. And ladies and gentlemen, I thank the ICLE Circulars team for inviting Nairobi City to this great network. It is a great honor to contribute towards Rise Africa 2021 session among other city leaders as we chart the pathway to circular development for this continent. Circular development is not only about reducing material and waste production, but support for local governments in improving human well-being and health, protecting and enhancing biodiversity, promoting social justice, all in line with sustainable development goals. NMS took over the mandate on four functions, that is the city-county health services, city-county environment services, city-county housing and urban planning, and city-county transport and public works. Nairobi City County, through assistance from JICA, develop an integrated solid waste management plan that sought to increase waste collection from 60 to 100 percent. This informed our decision to change from linear approach of waste management to circular model. The main objective was to establish and promote the circular economy for waste management in Nairobi County, reduce generation of waste at source by promote of reuse, institutionalize recovery of resources and value from waste for job and wealth creation, enhance delivery of effective waste management, and diversion of waste to develop the recycling market as part of county economic development, inculcate a duty of care and individual responsibility in waste management, and lastly to restore aesthetic value of Nairobi City County and its position as a clean regional hub. The areas of focus in, in our new solid waste management strategy is one, education and public awareness, introduction of waste separation at source, upgrading waste collection and transportation logistics, investing in waste recovery and final disposal, strengthening governance and finance, sustainable production for waste prevention. The key benefits of this uh, waste management is a clean and healthy city, cost of reduction in waste management, and creation of around 3,000 jobs. In order to hasten this, the city is seeking support in terms of funding for capital intensive initiatives, technical cooperation in capacity building, private sector investment and partnership, research, data, and information. ECLI Network can assist in availing this or providing relevant linkages to achieve the same. With a growing population of over 5 million, traffic congestion within Nairobi and its environment has escalated to levels that continue to impact negatively on mobility and efficiency of doing business. To unlock regional economic potential, the national government through NMS has embarked on an integrated commuter system compromising of bus rapid transport, BRT, Nairobi commuter rail service, and city decongestion strategy that will see public service vehicles move to designated terminals outside the CBD. The strategy has seen improvement of urban roads condition with works on roads within CBD, rehabilitation and implementation of intelligent traffic signals, enhancing public lightning to ensure security and ambience, thus human being and social justice, adapted LED lighting for public lighting, that is energy efficiency, 
added to the fact that the grid power we are using is mainly renewable energy, thus achieving climate neutrality, protecting and enhancing biodiversity. The non-motorized uh, transport system, NMT, constructed across CBD and extended to residential areas will encourage walking and cycling in and within the city to promote healthy lifestyle while easing traffic on the roads. Ladies and gentlemen, to this end, we seek your collaboration to ensure that we remain competitive and continually improving on the scopes and quality of services. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to further engagement where we can share and learn from each other at all levels of our profession.